Welcome to BaseballGuys.com. I'm your host, Ray Flowers. Not a lot of good news for the Mets this season. Team has been disappointing. Some of the players are disappointing. There's the whole K-Rod incident off the field. But the Mets finally got some good news today. Now, David Wright, who was pulled out of the game last night because of lightheadedness and nausea, said it was just a 24-hour bug. He's back in the lineup for the Mets on Thursday and looks good to go. Not Wright, who, Wright, who has now hit 30 doubles in six consecutive seasons, is actually nine doubles away from having 39 in six straight years. Only three other big leaguers in the history of the game have ever done that. So good luck to get the number 39 this season, Mr. Wright. Ian Kinsler, another early draft pick in fantasy leagues this season, started the year with ankle issues. Now he's got groin issues. The Rangers had hoped that this would be more of a minor situation. It's turned out to be a more extended stay on the deal than anticipated. Kinsler will go for an MRI on Monday. If that is positive, it is clear, he'll start baseball related activities. At this point, we're looking at September 1st probably being the first time to think there's a realistic chance that we'll see Kinsler on the ball field. Dustin Pedroia, another top pick, another second baseman. Bad news with Dustin Pedroia. May not be doom and gloom, but bad news nonetheless. He missed all that time with the broken foot, took his time coming back. Well, tonight, he was removed from the lineup because of soreness in that foot. Again, we don't have any reports that this is going to be a, a situation that requires another stone on the disabled list. Not anything other than a sore foot being reported at this point, but keep a close eye on that situation. He already pushed the timetable to get back, and he might have to have his playing time monitored on almost a daily basis until that foot is back to 100%, and that may not be until next season. Lance Berkman, he's been awful with the Yankees. Let's just face the facts. He hasn't picked it up at all. He was terrible with the Astros. He's gone to the Yankees and actually gotten worse, if you can believe that. He has been placed on the disabled list. The Yankees have waited a couple days, but really didn't want to go too long with only a 24-man roster. So he'll be on the DL for a couple of weeks. Should be fine when that time period is up. Alex Rodriguez will not be placed on the disabled list. He's still out of the starting lineup. He's hopeful of returning to that starting lineup soon for the Yankees. The Yankees continue to battle through things, just like the Red Sox have, and that highly competitive AL East. Brad Hopp. Brad Hopp is a really odd case. Each of the past four seasons, he's had at least 22 home runs and 80 plus RBIs. Four straight years, folks. He's hit at least 280 all those seasons. Not many right fielders in baseball belong in that class of consistent offensive production. But guess what? He just hasn't been able to do it this season. He's been awful. He's hitting in the 250s. He's got only seven home runs on the year. In fact, I believe he's only hit four home runs since the start of May. R Rockies tried to move him at the trade deadline. Wasn't something they were able to accomplish. So what did they do? Well, they flat out released him today. He's not going to be available to be picked up by another club until next week, uh, until Monday or Tuesday probably. But at this point, Rockies have said, hey, thanks for all the things you did for us, Mr. Hopp. We no longer are interested in your services. He will become a free agent. A lot of people believe he will go to the Rangers. He's actually from Texas. Other teams in the mix have been the Rays, the White Sox, the Phillies, and the Twins. We'll have to wait and see who he'll go to. But some team is going to get a lefty that could potentially be a lot of help off the bench come the playoff drive in September. Uh, Ryan Howard. Ryan Howard is close to coming back from his ankle injury. Uh, he'll go on a uh, minor league rehab stint on Friday. If all of that goes well, he'll return to action, hopefully on Monday for the Phillies. Get ready to activate him in those weekly leagues next season. Look like he is close to returning to the lineup for the Phillies. Now, the St. Louis Cardinals had a lot of problem at third base. Dave Freeze went out with the issue with his foot and his ankle. Had to have surgery on that. He's done for the year. They've tried Felipe Lopez there of late. He has not hit at all. So they went out and made a move to add Pedro Feliz. Yeah, not a great signing. Right into pitcher David Carpenter went the other direction. Pedro Feliz is hitting in the 220s this year, single digit home runs. He never takes a walk. His career on base percentage is actually below 300. He plays a decent defense. And I guess the Cardinals are just hoping to strike lightning in a bottle here with Felipe Lopez struggling so profoundly at the dish the past couple of weeks. And finally, some sad news for baseball, some sad news for the history of the game and sad news for Roger Clemens. It looks like, hasn't been officially announced yet, but it does look like Roger Clemens will be indicted for lying in front of con Congress about his involvement in the performance enhancing drug scandal. Uh, we still are awaiting the definitive word on this subject, but like I was just said, looks like he will be indicted for lying. What does that mean? Plea bargains, court cases, time in jail. I don't know how it's gonna play out, but it's just another black guy on baseball who just can't seem to get past those performance enhancing drug allegations and situations. I'm Ray Flowers. Let me take a breath. Spacefulguys.com. Thanks for joining me here on Thursday at Around the Horn, and I'll talk to you all again soon. And don't forget to visit us 
at fanball.com backslash SiriusXM. That's fanball.com backslash SiriusXM. That is the homepage for the Fanball Fantasy Drive that myself, Kyle Elfrink, and Kay Adams host on XM 147 and Sirius 211 five days a week. Don't forget to check it out.